ancient crafts of Bukhara, Susanna embroidery and carpet weaving traditions. The School of Carpet Weaving and Embroidery was opened in 2001 with the support of UNESCO. The main goals of the project are to revive the ancient 14th-15th century Timurid period silk carpet designs, carpet weaving techniques, reviving 18th-19th century Bukharian traditional embroidery Susanne. Books teach embroidery technique and working with the traditional natural vegetable and mineral dyes. Our training center has achieved much in spite of having a short history. We succeeded in reviving many forgotten carpet designs of the 14th and 15th centuries using an ancient museum pieces and medieval miniature paintings of that period. The Susanna embroidery designs and the embroidery technique of Luke Stitch were revived mostly based on museum pieces and with the help of rare old masters we luckily found across modern Bukharan region. Embroidery was the most widespread folk creation of Uzbek women. The work was done by girls and women. In order to make one piece of Susanna, there are a lot of steps. The first one is drawing the designs of the hand-woven cotton or silk fabric. The next one is selecting the colors and dyeing the silk threads. The next one is embroidery process, which takes uh, approximately 6-7 months. And finally, the fourth step is Susanna embroidery ready after washing and ironing. The Harita Susanna's ornamental composition comes from the 17th century. It is one of the most popular Susannas among people of Bukhara. Just like other Bukharan Susanna, this Susanna has its a story to tell. So, this legend starts with the city being occupied by enemies and only the palace of Emir still defending by his guards. The enemies, which is shown like the snakes, were everywhere in the city and it seemed only a matter of time for complete victory of enemy. The emir had somehow to send an alarm to his brother who was the emir of a neighboring city to rescue him. This was an impossible task as everywhere was surrounded by enemy and no help message called pass through. After a long thinking, one wise old man came the, into the idea of embroidering a Susanna with a hidden help message on it and taking it through the enemy's patrols. The idea worked and the Horita Susanna had been successfully delivered to Emir's brother, who came to rescue with an army and freed the city. Like this, Emir was rescued from enemies. The Susanna embroidery Hashtaira. Hashtaira is ornamental composition comes from the 17th century. It is one of the most popular Susannas among people of Bukhara. Just like other Bukharian Susannas, this Susanna has its story to tell. Traditionally, Hashtaira is embroidered by a woman expecting a baby. Every month she would embroider one large medallion representing a good wish and blessing for coming a baby. She would say every good wish and prayers while embroidering. She would complete embroidery of eight medallions filled with her wish and blessing eight months and wouldn't work during the ninth months. Then Hashtaira would be presented to a newborn baby and used as dowry for a daughter of wedding present for future daughter-in-law. Carpet weaving traditions. We know that silk and wool carpets are ideal for house decoration. They keep traditional Central Asian home spirit. Tradition of presenting carpets is still alive in Bukhara. Carpets are presented for birthdays, anniversaries, and some religious holidays. Quality noted, natural dyed carpets are considered family member treasure. Bukharian carpets quality is judged according to traditional weaving techniques, workmanship, applying natural dyes, natural silk or wool, traditional unique designs, of course. There are one of the most valuable masterpieces of this school is shown in these slides. The, the first one is Zandani Jin, that which is done approximately in 8th 9th century by Sogdian people and from the right side you can see the first reproduction of Zandani Jirak made by Fatima Kinjar. And the second carpet is Pazirik, that currently the carpet's origin is unknown. That the oldest surviving rug is shown from the left side, that Pazirik 5th century before the priest, and from the right side you can see reproduction of Pazirik rug made by Fatalokinjev in 2014. 
stated, uh, I love my craft and really want not only introduce you to the world, but teach the art as well. Thank you for your attention.